Hi, I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Chad Finn. Well, we know who won the U.S. Open. Uh, that was Webb Simpson. We know who was the real winner of the Open. That was the Olympic Golf Course. <laughs> and we know who did not win the Open. That's who we're here to talk about. Mr. Eldrick Tiger Woods, who at this point, uh, after having a very good first couple of rounds, had a couple of disastrous uh, rounds, including uh, woeful starts on each Saturday and Sunday. Where is he, Chad? Did you buy in? Let me start with it. Did you ever buy into the idea that after month, Sunday, Thursday and Friday, he was back? No, I, I think we need to relax on those declarations because this is about the third or fourth time yes. since the catastrophe of yes. his life. That Thanksgiving he's, night. Yeah, that he's been back. Uh, when he has a couple good rounds in a major, uh, it seems to cut, it seems to be the consensus that says this. But he's got to win a couple here before. Yeah, well, all right, all right, I'll get right to the check. If I put this is to your head. <laughs> is he A, is he winning any more majors, and B, is he catching Jack? I think he'll win more majors. Uh, he's not going to catch Jack, but no, uh, thank you. Uh, he's going to have, uh, he'll, he'll get one every couple of years. Let's leave it at that. All right, the interesting thing is that those in the know, and I am not one of them, I am listening, I'm just parroting back what I've heard from those in the know say that this incessant swing change thing that he started and he's done it twice and now he's got Sean Foley is, is, is going to be his ultimate undoing. I mean, do you have any thoughts on that or that it's possible that, that he can't readjust a third time and that's what's going to haunt him as he, enter, as he gets into his late 30s? I always figured it was more the injuries, the knee issues that were kind of affecting his swing and it snowballed from there. But he's always, he was always a tinkerer. Even when things were yeah. going great for him, he, w he was trying to get this next level and it backfires. It did backfire, no question. And of course, I mean, there's so many things going on here. Number one is the competition, the young guns, the pairs. And in, in, in the absence of the old Tiger, nobody's afraid of the new Tiger. Nobody, whether they're the older guys that were there the first time or whether they're the new guys. I think that's important. It is, yeah. And you, you know, you see his contemporaries, two guys like Mickelson who maybe might have feared him at one point. That is long gone. Oh, and the kids don't fear him at all. And so, you know, the, I'm going to go back to the famous uh, Bill Parcells uh, acronym, JAG, J-A-G, just another guy. Now, I mean, that mean put in parentheses, just another VG, very good guy. He's... I agree with Chad. I think there's a major left in him, but his, there aren't five majors left in him for, for any number of reasons. 